So I'm writing a report and I want to include this quote in it. And it's from this book called Designing the 21st Century. So what I do is I first go into Mendeley and I check that my reference is in the library. I can see it is here. And if you need to get your book or paper into your library, it's very simple. Just follow the links which are in the playlist. So it's there. Go into Word click on the, the symbol at the top here. Now in the Windows version, there's actually a section called referencing. So you see it in there, little tab section. It's very clear and easy to follow. Actually, I think it's better than the Mac version. Anyway, this pops out and we say insert or edit citation. So we click here and we click, we type the name designing the 21st and we see it just there. So just click on it, click OK. And there we have it. We see that the authors and year are there. There's one thing missing though, which is page number. So insert or edit, or you first of all you click on the insert citation, insert or edit. Then you click on the cell there, and I know the page is 216, so click OK. And there we have it. Now maybe you want to do it differently, so rather than having the um, authors and year in the same uh, brackets, you want to say feel and feel said. Very simple. Type here feel and feel said that, whatever. And you're going, going to want to have the year and page number just after the name. So search space. And the cursor is now between feel and said. So what I do now is I click on here, Mendeley, insert, and we just type it again. So designing the 21st, there we are. Now, this time I can actually go straight to putting the um, page number in, so I click here, page 216. But because I don't want the authors in the brackets, what I do is click on here saying suppress author. Click OK, and there we have it. So two ways of doing it. Now, maybe there were Maybe you're writing about something and there are two people who said something. So you could be talking about uh, the history of design and two authors both said that it started in the modern sense with Bauhaus. So what you could say is design started in the modern sense with Bauhaus. Okay, so you want to um, put it in text citation for this. Back up to here. And I'm just going to guess at some um, names, so Parker 2012, and I'm going to choose that one, and why not uh, Norman? There, Psychology of Everyday Things. These books probably don't say that, but that doesn't matter. Click OK, and you'll see that what Mendeley has done is it has put both names in the brackets. We can add a third one by clicking here and going Mendeley insert or edit, and top of my head, let's think of someone else, Stark. There we are, and click OK, and it's added a third one in. We want to take that one out, once again, click on here, insert or edit, and we can just backspace, remove it, click OK, and there it is. So, using Mendeley, getting in-text citations, very fluid and fantastic but there's one thing which is even more powerful, which is references at the end. So I'm gonna give myself a little section, put a little title in. Now I want my reference list to fall back. Back to here, Mendeley, insert bibliography, and there you go. It just drops in all references. And just to show you how this works again, I'm gonna put another reference in. So let's go Mendeley, insert, and this time I'm gonna look up good child, uh, that'll do. Click OK and drops in there, automatically throws it into there. So you know that every single reference which is in the section at the top here, in the main text, is going to be in the reference list and that's going to save you absolutely hours. Another great thing is that say this section here, you read it and think it's not really for you, you can cut it out and then go up here, Mendeley Refresh, and it takes it all out of the reference list. Then you go, actually it was quite good, and you put it back in again with a different section. And we'll refresh this, and they come back. So the refresh button is really useful, so it just works. Now if you went into Mendeley, 
which is just here. And you made a mistake, this book didn't come out in 2002, it came out in 2001. Let's just change that, okay? Back over here, we'll see that it says 2002. Refresh this, and 2001, straight away. But no, it actually was 2002, so back here. Correct that, back into Word, and let's refresh that. And we see right there, it's back into normal. So that is using Mendeley for making the in-text citations and reference list work really well for you. There's one last thing to say, which is if you want to um, put book numbers, sorry, book page numbers, or maybe chapters in, you can do it by hand, but you really shouldn't. And I'll show you the reason why. Say the quote there came from a page. So page, I don't know, one, two, three. Okay. Now, that looks fine, and there's nothing wrong with that stylistically. But if we then refresh Mendeley, what we'll see happen is we get an error, which is this one, which um, basically says, do you want to undo things? So we say undo, we've lost the manual edit. So that is a problem. What we need to do um, in the future going forward is make sure that you always use the edit tool. Make everything work together and it'll make report writing fantastically fast. And it will also mean that you can get in Harvard format perfectly. And I'll show you how to do this really quickly. If we go to choose citation style, now it actually is in Harvard as it turns out, but say you had to write for a conference paper and they wanted in IEEE. You click on IEEE, user style, click done, and there you are. It's now automatically exactly in IEEE style. The formatting, the where the dots are, where the commas, what's italic, where the capitals are, all of this is together. Now, that's wrong because at the University of Manchester, we use Harvard for everything. So I'm going back here, Harvard, user style, done, and bang, there we are. So you get perfect referencing every time. All you've got to make sure of is that your reference is in the library, all the information is in there correct, and that's it. It just works for you. Oh, also, make sure that this type is correct. But apart from that, it's a fantastic tool. It will save you so much time, so much effort, and get full marks something which can be tricky. So enjoy using.